With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, an infinite line charge is at the axis of a cylinder of length 1 meter and radius 7 centimeter. If electric field at any point on the curved surface of cylinder is 250 Newton per coulomb, then net electric flux through the cylinder is. So here we know this is an infinite, let's say, charged wire having length as 1 meter and radius as 7 centimeter. Now, electric field on the curved surface of this cylinder is given as 250 Newton per coulomb. So, at the surface of the cylinder means at a distance of let's say R that is radius, we know electric field is given as 2K lambda divided by R. So, we can say here electric field at the surface is 2K lambda by R. So, we have here net electric flux given as surface integral of electric field here which is equal to Q includes by epsilon. So, this is our Gauss law. Now, here we can say electric field and the curved surface area of this cylinder are parallel to each other. That is, they make an angle of 0 degree with each other. Hence, we can say here, this is our repulsive electric field as the wire is positively charged and curved surface area of the cylinder is perpendicular to the curved surface that is parallel to electric field vector. Hence, E and DS make an angle of 0 degree. Hence, this becomes E into DS into cos of 0 degree, which is our net flux. Now, here we can say this comes out to be our electric field as 2k lambda by r into we have here as ds. Now here we can say this comes out side as this is constant. So 2k lambda by r into your curved surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r into l. Now here we can say this electric field is given. We need to find the net flux. So this 2k lambda by r value is 250 into 2 pi into radius is given as 7 centimeter and length as 1 meter. So, 7 into we have here as 10 power minus 2 and length as 1 meter. Hence, on calculation we can say here this value comes out to be our on further simplification we can find out this value to be 1.1 into 10 power 2 Newton meter square per coulomb. That is amongst the four options. We have option number one as the correct answer. Hence, we can say net electric flux through the cylinder is 1.1 into 10 power 2 Newton meter square per coulomb. So, what is our answer? For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.